30 seconds to go into the start of this race. We're at 27, 26. This is the next day after my Swift Insiders that I ran at 5 o'clock in the afternoon. This race will give you a chance to actually see what my numbers are like at the wattage I was running in that fourth race. That fourth race, I was doing about 350 watts. Um, my heart rate was like 155, 160. My um, pedals were down normally to about 75. Normally where I ride it, I know I was tired and we're off. I know, I know normally I'm tired when I'm riding, with, especially with those four races. But I felt like because I did it so late in the day, it caused me to be extra tired. And you see, I pull off on this one, and I didn't mass monster it up where I was at 600 or 550. I kind of just pulled off at 400. I wasn't out to just try to bum this race. I knew I chose this race specifically because it's a volcano climb. I chose this because I can't climb a volcano in a decent amount of time, first of all. Second of all, I knew it was going to be a, a, a very uh, uh, long race because it was 14 miles. For me, that's, that's starting to get where I have to actually measure out how hard I'm going to push throughout the race so I can have energy towards the end of the race. So as we pull off, I'm only running about 350, maybe 400 here and there. I did speed this race up because it's a very long race. So as you see, we start to speed up and my numbers still stay the same. And they don't really change. I, I ride about 350, 400. And the reason I'm doing this is because I was suggested in one of my comments by at PW South that he, he asked if I could stay at a lower rate, not wear myself out, how would I come out on the mountain? So I decided to stay lower, ride about 350, which is a normal cruising speed for me. Uh, 419 is my F FTP. So I'm doing pretty good. I think it's 419 4 or something like that. But that's my normal cruise, cruising thing, so my cruising speed. So if my, I figure 350, right in that 350 area, 280, 350, I just try to stay in that area 350 close. Wavering probably about 50, maybe 60 um, watts either way, but mostly 350. And as I come through here, I'm just riding on this very comfortably, doing pretty good, with not really no high end climbs. So I'm preparing myself for when I get to the mountain, when I get to the volcano, that I can actually run through that volcano without any problem. So I just study riding. I, I, I ride it at 350 watts. My heart rate is 132, as you can see. My pedals are now more than about 75, 80, right in that area and maybe lower that by 75 to 80 percent in that area. And, and, and I just maintain that while I ride this race. For anybody else who's a bigger guy, and I'm starting to learn from the suggestions that I get from everyone, um, ride, your, find a cruising speed when you're doing these longer races. As for us bigger guys, ride, find a cruising speed. And I think it pretty much goes tandem with everyone. To find a cruising speed that you can maintain that'll keep you with the pack, but won't wear you out. And so I chose that. I chose to choose a, a pedaling speed and, and a wattage that would keep me with the pack. But unfortunately for me, un unfortunately for me, I was moving at a speed that kind of pushed me ahead of everyone. And as I'm pulling off and, and, and just riding, I noticed that I'm putting a great deal of distance in between me and the rest of the pack of the group. But I'm, I'm just still steady riding at about three, 300, 350, somewhere in there. So I'm not trying to kill this thing out. My whole goal is to get through the mountain climb. And as you've ever seen me on a video, no matter how much distance I have in front of me, if it's really steep enough, everybody will catch up eventually with me. So with that being known, I decided that I was going to maintain a nice cruising speed that didn't sap me of energy. And I'm only running at 100, I'm at 125 heartbeats a minute. I'm, I'm actually really just cruising now my heart rate's gonna start to climb uh i know it popped out in and out here and every once in a while it's just because that polar wristband i guess because i get so much sweat up under it it kicks out for a second but i waited till i got to the mountains to start climbing now i'm gonna tell you something that i did i saw this the map of the, the thing and i saw it with a whole bunch of squirrely lines around the mountain but when i started riding if you look at the map it's wide open so i'm thinking to myself are we only gonna do the outside of the, of the volcano I'm like, oh, okay cool this is gonna be a nice little quick race. We're not going inside the volcano. 
I, it, I guess the map lied to me. It, it was false. It was built on a premise that it didn't keep up with. I, this is not a volcano run. This is just an outside racetrack. And that's what I started thinking to myself, thinking, okay, cool. I'm not going, all I'm going to do is come around this corner and I'm probably going to end up heading back out to the road and come back and go up the other side. So I think and that's what they mean by road to hell. And so I'm constantly riding this thing, feeling good with myself, thinking that this is just going to be something simple. And you look at the wattage, I'm going, well, I'll just maintain this slight wattage. That had a little incline run, but that was about it. There's, there's nothing else. And then it pops. The whole map, I don't know if they did that on purpose. I don't think they did that make you feel good, or my computer just decided not to show me the whole map. But I go, oh, okay, it really was a climb the hill. And that's where the climb starts. And I start climbing this thing. And thankfully for what they, I was suggested on about holding the power back, it gave me enough power to actually ride through this mountain pretty nice. I mean, I dropped down to 10 miles. I stayed about 10 miles an hour while I around it. But that's a good 10 that I normally wouldn't have. I know I'm in much better shape since I ran this mountain climb before. But to run it now, and I hit the lead. I thought maybe I might get another lead, but I don't think I did. So I, I just kind of just rode around this mountain with, with the idea that this thing is going to be just a nice climb. And I looked down, and I got about two minutes on the next person. And, and as I climbed the mountain, I know that if they have a if you're racing and you have a um, if you have a power meter or if you race and you have a trainer, it's gonna feel you're gonna feel the heels. Just like me with a power meter. Without putting power in this thing, you're not gonna climb. So as I'm climbing, I'm coming around and I'm 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 feeling the heel, but it's not that bad because I didn't wear myself out before I got to the heel. And so my heart rate is still like one I'm climbing, I got the wattage up, and my heart rate is only one fit on 141. I'm at 90 some pedals per minute. And like I said yesterday, running a race like this, I should have been like that when I got to the fourth one. It would have made it a lot easier for me to make it through. And I'm thinking next week, I probably would never see that kind of them four races again for another month. <laughs> I'm thinking to myself that they change every week. But that if I get a combination of those again, I would do a lot better, especially running them at the time that I normally run, like five in the morning. So I'm climbing this hill and the great thing about climbing a hill like this is that once you get to the top, for me, it's the coming down. Cause, cause of my size and cause of my weight, I come down these hills like a bat out of hell. I really do. I come down these hills and I see that little circle. When I see that little circle, I just power my way up to it. And I come around, I slow down, build myself, get my get my confidence built back. I don't know why I get, I wish you'd have gave me an Advil. It would have been really nasty. So as I come around this hill, you're gonna see my numbers jump up to about a thousand. And the only reason they jumped up to a thousand is I wanted to get a good push and I just wanted to fly down this hill. So I just ran them up. And you see, I jumped up, I think about 1100 it got up to. And after that, I just kind of took my feet off the pedal and you can see I'm just riding down. 35, 40, I'm letting my weight do all the work. I'm just slowed down on my pedal, just kind of riding down the hill. It wasn't no rush to this. I, I achieved something I wanted to do, and this may be one of them kind of things where Sunday's gonna be more of a hill climb. I'm thinking, I'm not gonna promise, I think I'm, I'm gonna do Elder Swift tomorrow because I saw Ron, I wanna say Ron uh, Condon run it about two or three days ago, and I think as a homage to the big guys, I'm gonna run it myself again. I've ran it before, it took two hours. So tomorrow is my last day running. I'm taking two days off because I truck drive, I go out of town and I won't be back to Wednesday and I won't race until Thursday again. So I'm thinking I may go ahead and do it just to wear my legs out so I got, since I have a couple of days to rest, and I may do Elder Swift tomorrow and see how I do on that, see if I can get it done in about an hour and a half. I think last time it took two hours. So I'm gonna try it, I might try it. I'm not guaranteeing it because I don't really want to bother with it, but I think I may try it tomorrow. So as I come down through here, you see um, this is pretty much a simple race. It's not a hard race. It's just a race where I'm just trying to finish up. I was just wanted to prove to myself that I can get to the end of this thing and climb the mountain and still have energy left. And I wanted to take advice. And sometimes I try whatever somebody gives me advice, I try it out. And I tried the advice out that it gave me on this one and it worked out pretty well. So I know that I will implement this into other races that I do that are more you know, tougher than this. Now I slowed it back down and as you see, I'm coming down to the end. 
Also, if you like and subscribe, if you like my material, please like and subscribe. Um, hey, become a subscriber. I'm trying to get myself. There's little goals. My next goal is 25. I think I'm up 17 subscribers. So it, might, it would be nice to get up to 25. So if you would subscribe to me, get me up to 25. My next goal would be 50 after that. But right now, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get to 25. So if you like what I'm doing and like what you see happening, hey, it's just a boost of motivation for anybody who's out here doing this. I understand what it means to get the little likes and then to get the subscribe. It's nice to have that. It, it, it makes you, it, it gives you a boost of, you know, uh, it gives you something to, know that people are really following what you're doing. So I finished this race up. I want to thank y'all for following me. Y'all have a great day and have a good one. Bye-bye.